Hey guys, before we get into the today's video, uh, I just want to say that a few of the clips, uh, the audio is unsynced for the uh, gameplay, so uh, terribly sorry about that. Um, a few of the clips we couldn't go back and redo, uh, it's just a problem with the uh, upload studio. Um, anyway, uh, see you in the video. Welcome back everybody, Arbiter456B here. Uh, coming at you with a new video, uh, some Fortnite talk and stuff like that. Uh, I'm joined here with his buzzer. Uh, he's gonna ask me a few questions and then we're gonna put our input into it. So um, I might piled up a lot of notes here so we can talk about a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff happened since we made a video. And uh, we're gonna talk about, first thing we're gonna talk about is season four, the superheroes. Um, if you guys know, um, uh, actually Fortnite tweeted this out, uh, image. And I think there's two images. One is a guy, and one is a girl. So, um, um, so what do you think about like this little superhero season four? Like, what's gonna happen? Um, honestly, it's not really what I wanted for season four. Because uh, if you've guys seen my last video, you know that we talked about ninjas and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> I don't really feel too hyped about it. I mean, I know other people are, but I'm not really a big superhero dude myself uh i don't know I, i'm still gonna get the battle pass for season four because well you know and all that stuff um other than that i'm not really too hyped about it for maybe the suits i mean it can be like it can be different what we think it's gonna be but i'm really hyped for like maybe you never know the suits might be cool but uh Hopefully they have some cool gliders, emotes, and, uh, pickaxes maybe, so hopefully there's some cool in that, so um, if we think of any ideas, we'll, we'll, we'll see at the end of the video. So um, the next day we're going to talk about is tier 100, like, what do you want to see for the tier 100? Well, honestly, if they are doing superheroes, I'd like to see like a Deadpool kind of character, who has like, swords for the back bling, or like, you know what I mean. You guys know what Deadpool looks like, obviously. Um, he's just all around a badass character. Uh, I feel like they'd probably benefit since, uh, isn't it Disney that owns Marvel? Yeah, I think. Um, well, if uh, Disney owns Marvel, they own like a portion of Epic Games. Well, and, Fortnite. Well, no, they own uh, Epic Games and they make Fortnite. So if they are going to do superheroes, I feel like they could do one that's like, uh, Deadpool for tier 100, just because, you know, he's an awesome character. I understand why they want to do it, because Marvel is really big in this world. So um, I really want to see, like, a Man of Steel or something like that. I want something like a, a badass armor, not just a like, basic, like, Batman or something. I feel like they're just going to do, like, yeah, I, do, I think they're going to do superheroes, but they're going to make it badass. I'd, I'd much rather have a Man of Steel version of Batman. Or, no, not Man of Steel. Um, I can't remember what it was called. It was, like, where... Actually, it was, I remember now. It was called uh, Batman vs. Superman. I'd like to see yeah, a that suit like that. Yeah, I like that's, the, that's kind of like the black one. No, I want it to be like really shiny. <laughs> like the female Voyager. I like, I like how shiny it is. Yeah, the female Voyager. That's like my second favorite suit. The first favorite is uh, obviously the Dark Voyager. I like how uh, Epic Games, they, um, they put the meters in the sky so we, we have something to talk about. And I like how it's going toward... The season, so I like how Epic Games is doing that. So the next thing we're gonna talk about, um, what do you think about the, the female board? Uh, I kind of already put in my input for that one. It's like, um, out of every suit that I have, uh, and probably every every suit that they've put into uh, Fortnite, it's probably like my number one. Dark Voyager is a close number two, though. When it first came out in the store, I thought it was like the worst suit ever. But when I like looked at it, I'm like, dude, this suit is it's pretty badass. Uh, the Dark Voyager is the male, and then the Dark Vanguard is the female. I like the Dark Vanguard a little more because it's like you have that light orange, but you have like the pink light. Uh, I just I like it. So the next thing we're talking about this really doesn't involve like the Easter egg going on in the map and the This is just uh. We've been winning a lot recently. Um, we've been winning like crazy duo games, and uh, I, will, I will have some crazy gameplay on my channel. It's Buzzer, and uh, Arbiter did get a solo win on my account, so expect to see that. Oh, I'll shout him out in the comments when I upload my video. 
So um, the next topic we're gonna talk about is uh, if, if they make a new map, what would you like want to see? Well, or if they like remove a, like a location or just add it and then like a new map, but we can talk about both of those. Well, as everybody knows, all the meteors are striking the map and everything, and <clears throat> if they have like big impacts and they wipe out a few areas and they kind of just like decide to make new areas and don't really like connect the dots there. Uh, I think I'd like to see more like space themed type areas because I know people are saying that the, the giant meteor in the sky is supposed to be a spaceship that the, the heroes are coming in for season four but um, I mean, I like that idea and all, but I'd still like to see some space areas around the map since season three was all about space, and obviously they're ending it with the meteor impact and all that. Um, that's just my personal opinion on it. Do you want to say anything about it? Um, I was expecting a little bit better from season four, but um, it might like it might sound bad. I'm not gonna like like I'm not gonna judge it by what the picture looks like on Fortnite. It's on Twitter. And if it is superheroes, um, it looks it really. If you look at the picture, it looks just like superheroes. But I hope it's not. But I, I think Epic Games, is, they're not gonna copy straight like Batman what it looks like. There's just yeah. I don't think they will probably get in trouble for just copying it. So hopefully they they put like new designs on it and stuff. I mean, Batman and Superman and all those are like DC. So I don't think they they're gonna like straight rip off a Batman character. Unless yeah, they do like Fortnite superheroes. Yeah, I, I thought that's what they were going to do, but I, like like I said, for like the tier 100, I'd like to see like a Deadpool kind of like character, not obviously it's not going to be straight up Deadpool, I'd just like to see a character like that. I really don't, I don't think all the characters are going to be superheroes, I think there's, I think tier 100 is going to be something cool. Yeah, because in season 3 it was the, it was all like space themed and then uh, obviously you had John Wick. I mean, season 3 was okay, I like the the suits in the season you got unlock. And, uh, well, the battle pass. Yeah, the battle pass. I mean, <clears throat> hopefully, um, there's something in like in season three. I thought that orange shoot was like the best, and it kind of got old really quick. It was like the first thing you unlock at tier one. So hopefully, season four. Yeah, what was that called? The off. mission specialist. Yeah. What I, what I like about Epic Games is they don't just they don't just let a game just sit there and just oh season four is coming out in a couple of days and they just don't put no hints. I like how Epic Games is actually putting hits in the game. They've got meters in the sky, and uh, you got like asteroids falling, and you can see it towards the end of the game. Yeah, I think I think that's pretty cool. So, next topic: um, What do you think about the? Have you seen the Tilted Towers Easter eggs? For what? Like the signs and stuff. It said like today was crossed out, and it said tomorrow. Oh, um, I haven't seen it personally, but I've heard about it through uh, one of Allie's videos. But Literally, no, nothing happened. I think you know, I think Epic Games is trying to mess with us because they know how they know how hyped we are, so they're just trying to troll a little bit. I think it's cool. I think even the TVs are cool. The one with the, the, the llama. llama on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, the llama. I think that's pretty cool. I like how uh, the Fortnite Twitter they set as their background. That's the. I think that's pretty cool. And uh, on rumors going around that Dusty Depot is going to get destroyed, like it's all over YouTube. I, honestly, I think it's going to be Lucky Landing since that was like the Chinese New Year themed area, so I think they might do that one. I think what they're going to do is, once season 4 hits, they're going to like, it's going to go like, they're going to destroy like maybe like some locations and base it around like superhero I guess. I don't know how to say this, but they're going to like base the map on the season. So, um, if they had like, if they had to destroy like any location, what would like what would you want to see gone? And like, what do you want them to keep? Well, uh, I'd like them to keep like haunted hills and all those kind of areas. Um, Dusty Depot. It's not really the like it's not the super best place for loot, but you can get some pretty decent stuff there. Um, I feel like if they're gonna destroy it or anything, they're gonna make something like, way bigger. Um, Kind of like, kind of like Tilted Towers, but like for Dusty Depot. Or something. I feel like they're gonna do something like that. Um, yeah, I, I was remember the, uh, the the PUBG map where it was a bunch of like cargo. Yeah, yeah. It almost seemed like that. But that like, was in the uh, more military like multiple base. of them, not like just. Like, yeah, that was in the military base. I think. But um, 
what we're going to talk about next is what do you want to see for future gliders and pickaxes and the emotes? Um, it can emotes? Be, it could be I, in the, like the battle pass or the store. Um, well, for like emotes, I'm not really too sure. Um, uh, actually, hold that thought. Next clip is uh, going to be about the meteorite. So yeah, let's go ahead and talk about that. Um, we'll, we'll catch back what we we're just talking about. Um, this is actually a crazy clip. We actually sat here and listened to it, and I thought this was like the coolest thing ever. You can see here we're using the, the female Voyager. Yeah, I yeah, thought the I'd glider. use it. The glider is amazing. Yeah, I still want a, a space glider, but I kind of missed out on those. I didn't have enough money to buy the rocket ship or the probe. Actually, we're, since we're sitting here waiting for to look at the meteor, um, we are. Uh, why is it freezing? No idea why it's freezing. I really hope it doesn't keep doing that. Um, we're gonna keep going with the video. I don't know why it's freezing here. Um, yeah, we're just gonna keep going. Um, hopefully the audio is still synced with this. Uh, so sorry if uh, it's still frozen for you guys, but it's it's like stopped working for us. Um, anyway, if you guys can hear it, uh, that is the meteorite. We're basically just looking at it, that's all. Um, to get some of the audio for you guys, uh, we'll just take a moment and let you guys listen. So, um, like we're, we're talking over this video and it's like paused on our screen, so if it's still paused, just listen to the audio. Um, but anyway, I wanted to touch on this for a little second. Uh, since people are saying that the meteorite is a spaceship, um, if you actually just take a moment and uh, don't look at it, or no, you have to look at it, sorry. Um, if you take a moment, look at it, and stop doing what you're doing, and like stop getting your 10 kill streaks and all that, uh, you just pause, take a moment, look at it, and uh, it doesn't sound like a meteorite at all. It sounds mechanical. Uh, actually does sound like a spaceship it sounds like something that's like gonna crash or something maybe it's gonna be like a like a big like ship and it's just a spaceship and it's gonna crash on earth i feel like it's gonna make like a big explosion i feel like if it, here we go the video is playing you guys, you guys can see the the meter it looks pretty cool yeah um but I do, I do feel like if the ship actually crashes, and that's how season four starts, See, I feel like is. they may. Oh my god, that's beautiful! I Look feel like that. they may land it in either Lucky Landing or Dusty Depot. You guys can hear it right now, and like yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it over our voices. Um, we'll, we'll stay silent for a couple of seconds so you guys can hear it. As you can see, it's really it's a it's a cool sound. I didn't think I can't believe it's Fortnite's doing this crazy what they can do well so, anyway back to the the gliders and so stuff. uh what would you want to see for future gliders and pickaxes and emails well for future gliders uh i'm more of a space dude myself uh, i'm kind of sad that i missed out on the uh the rocket gliders and the the probe glider that came out with the leviathan i'm really sad that i missed out on those um honestly i just kind of like to see more space themed because uh, if, if I haven't talked about it before, I'm a really big space dude. Uh, I, lo I love space. I talk about it like all the time with my friends. Well, sometimes. Um, <clears throat> so I'd like to see more like space-themed pickaxes and gliders and stuff. I mean, I know season three is ending, but still, space was the hype around season three. That was like, I think this was like the biggest and best-selling season out of that they've. Had. I mean, I know there's only been like two, but still, it's nuts how many people bought season three literally just for the Dark Voyager. Yeah, I, yeah, it's gonna be crazy to see what the future of this game is. I really want, don't want this game to die, but I feel like Fortnite. It's just, it's just gonna keep on going season after season. Just gonna keep getting better and better. This game is just exploding. Everybody's playing it around the world. Epic Games, come on, man! Season five, ninjas. You heard it here. Um, I want to talk about this has nothing to do with what it does, but I want to talk about Ninja real quick. He literally just had a, a tournament. He hosted his own tournament. I think it was absolutely crazy. And the, during the live stream, it was like a Rust Lord. Some dude dressed up as a Rust Lord. I forgot what else it was. It was a dude with the wings. 
also that dude dressed up as. I thought that was pretty cool, and um, we are going to pick up the, the Rust Lord glider. Yeah. So we might get gameplay, you know, we're going to be flying in the sky, but I want to run like a full suit, like Arbor just said. Yeah, I want the whole set. It's a, it's a dope suit. But Ninja's success on YouTube and Twitch is just phenomenal. I never thought they'd do would make it so far. Anyway, back to what we were saying. <clears throat> so, um, I want to talk about, uh, let's talk about uh, custom games. Yeah, yeah, custom games. Okay, so I got a few topics here, and another one involves, like, custom skins. Um, so for custom games, I've seen uh, a few pictures by some YouTubers, uh, obviously the Photoshopped pictures, which uh, it just it gives people an idea of what, like, it gives Epic an idea of what we want for, like, the custom games. Um, there was one to adjust whether the storm came in or not, uh, how fast it would move, where it would go. Um, there was a choice between like three different map versions. There was one where it, would, it looked like the storm, but you wouldn't take any damage. There was another one with snow, and obviously you have the base map. Um, I would really love to see this because then you could have uh, streamers like Ninja and Myth do a 1v1 on like the whole Fortnite map without any storm or anything closing in, which who wouldn't want to see that since uh, Myth kind of failed at Ninja's tournament. Uh, sad to say that, but he did. Uh, <clears throat> he got one of the rarest glitches in Fortnite and uh, sent him flying off a map. Uh, I really wanted to see Ninja and Myth go to build battle or something like that. That would have been absolutely insane. Um, back to what I was saying. Uh, there would be a timer and stuff to dictate how long the, the match would go on. And then, uh, moving on to the custom skins, uh, there's, like, obviously you'd have the ones that Epic brings out, like, the Dark Voyager, the Dark Vanguard, but you'd be able to, like, change the colors of them, so, like, if you wear the Dark dark Vanguard, you can make it, like, white with, uh, red lights on it instead of black with pink, which, that would be sick. Uh, I wanted, uh, actually, I, I was talking to Buzzer here earlier. And uh, we were talking about the custom skins and how it would look cool on the Raven if he had red eyes, and you could change like the the like dark bluish, like navy blue, I think it is, uh, to like dark red or something like that. I, I don't know. I just think that would be freaking amazing. Um, anyway, on to the next topic. Actually, Here. I wanted to touch on that topic. Um, okay. I wish they should come out with like like really big YouTubers and come out with like, like it's like CSGO but like do stickers like ninja stickers, myth stickers and put it on your guy with the cameras. I think that'd be pretty cool. You can just rock out your favorite YouTuber stickers or something. Like that. But um, I really don't have much notes here. Um, we're, we might, uh, I do have something here. Um, we did make a funny intros part one. That was like the funniest thing we ever did. We might make a part two in the future if you guys want to see that. Just like and subscribe and thank you. We did make a part two? Yeah. You don't remember that? It was, it was going to be a part three if we make another one. Oh yeah, I'm, 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 I'm confused. I'm, I'm just so into this. So much is going on in Fortnite right now. So is there anything you want to touch on or anything? Uh, a few things that I would like to touch on is um, people shooting through your building. Because uh, I've run into this a lot. Uh, I'll be building a wall and uh, it won't like it won't be solid so people can shoot through it while it's still building but like at the same time you can walk straight through it on both sides and uh it's not really a rare glitch it happens to me all the time uh, i'm not sure if it happens to buzzer a lot but it's happened to me a few times uh i think one time i accidentally built a triangle and i could just literally just walk straight through it um wasn't the best uh because i built like a whole base and then uh I fell through my stairs because uh, they weren't solid or something like that. Uh, I don't know what happened, but I'd really like that bug to be fixed. Uh, that's all I really wanted to touch on with that. So, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just be in the middle of a, a battle. I'll be trying to be building. I'll go like stairs, and I'll like go through it. Now I try to go on top of it again, and it's, just, it's solid. And it's like, what? Yeah, then one time I was in a gunfight and the storm was coming, so I was trying to push out. I was about the gas station by Pleasant, 
and uh, I was hiding behind the, the, uh, the, the gas station. I was trying to take cover and heal. And I was going to rush the dude. I didn't think he was going to push me, so I rushed him. I built, like, two stairs. And on my screen, the, the, the stairs were built. And on my screen, he just comes out of the stairs and just one pumps me. I'm like, wow. They really need to fix that. I don't know if Epic Games knows about that, but they really did need to fix that. Uh, also, another thing that I would like to touch on is... Uh Oh, what was it? Um, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, comment below if you guys want to see some challenges, but we to go for it. We've been winning like crazy. Let's go for challenges. Oh, this is what we're down that hill. <laughs> I remember this. But um, comment below what, what do you guys thought about Season 3. Comment below what, it, what you guys think they, they, they could have done better or Season 3 was perfect. Yeah, comment below what, what suit you guys like to wear, what your favorite is, and all that stuff. Like, I'm starting to like the Dark Border better, the female is amazing, the Rust Lord I wear every now and then. Yeah, if I get that glider, I'm probably going to like that for a while, the whole yeah. set. If we get a one with that, we're going to upload that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> if we get a launch pad, I'm going to use the, 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 the glider. So, I um, hope you guys really enjoy this video. Um, I really want to talk about something. I really don't want to end the video because we still got like nine minutes left of this video. Um. Oh, actually, I do remember what I was going to talk about. Um, so recently, guys, I switched over to uh, Build Pro. Um, if you're if you're new to Fortnite and uh, you don't know how to build or you can't use Combat Pro and you don't like the standard, then use Build Pro because uh, I was watching one of Alia's video and, and uh, he recommended it highly. Uh, so I thought I'd just try it out. Um, I used to be able to build stairs and walls, like, I think it took me like 10 seconds yeah, to switch he, between he all of them. Like, we'll build at the same time. It's, it's faster than it was before. Like, before it took me a good, like, 20 or 30 seconds to switch between everything, and then now I can just do it instantly because, uh, uh, I actually think I'm using Build Pro in this one, and um, if you guys can see it when I bring up the uh, the build menu, uh, I just have to press the triggers. So it's it's a little like key bindings for uh, PC, but it it, uh, it just helps console players build a little better. So if you're, if you're new to Fortnite, then definitely give it a try because it's a it really helps me. Uh, I get into a lot more build battles now uh, if I don't run out of materials. Um, and all around, it's just a good setup for me. I like it. So I really hope Fortnite keeps updating this game, keep adding weapons, and uh, keep adding new stuff. And they already add new stuff as it is. And they'll add like an Easter egg at every like end of the season. I hope they keep doing that. And uh, hopefully, add the custom game and the camos and make it yourself and stuff like that. So. Um, we don't want else to talk about. We're at 20 minutes, 22 minutes and 50 seconds. And you can see here we're using the rest sword right there. That's pretty, Actually, that's pretty good too. Let me let me talk about this gameplay right here. It's only like a minute or so long. Uh, I feel like I could talk over this. Uh, right here, I juked out a uh, dark voyager. I think it was. He was so one shot. He just ran around the corner, and I used the, the third person mechanics and got that right hand peek on him. Um, Went in here, dropped a, a shotgun that I didn't need for my, uh, for my teammate. I was playing randoms at the time, so uh, I think he was very new to the game, actually. Um, I hit this guy, I two-shotted him, and then his teammate was right there. He downed mine, and I one-shotted him. So this is something that I would really like to talk about, because uh, as you guys can see, I was using the blue pump-action shotgun. Um, I'll find myself being in shotgun battles a lot because I'm, and well, my play style is very aggressive. Uh, I like to push. Uh, I don't like to sit back. Uh, some of my gameplays with uh, Buzzer are us just sitting back, taking the W. Um, but every time I've gotten into a shotgun battle for like the past week or so, I'll either get one pumped or two shotted by a gray tack. And I'll be like at 100, 100. And um, the pump does a headshot damage of like 
235 or something like that. But as you guys saw me hit that that uh, Funk Ops or whatever skin it was, um, I only did 100 and something, which means he was low health. But at the same time, I still one-pumped him, and all I got was a headshot, so I'm not too sure about it. Um, I mean, I'd like them to, like fix the pump and make it more oh what's the word more consistent uh so i'd really like that to be fixed I feel, like, I feel like the pump is like really stiff it needs to be like the tack like i, I, I don't know I'm, I'm not, i like the tack better because i just feel like it's loose if that makes sense i don't know like i see a lot of people calling the tack like the lazy shotgun because it has a it has a wider spread you don't have to be as accurate um I find myself hitting people in the head for like six or seven damage a lot of the times when I use the attack now. I used to use it all the time, but then they nerfed it a little, so I switched over to the pump. Uh, right here you can see I was running double. Um, double pump was back in a way. It wasn't like fully back. You couldn't insta-switch and do what you used to be able to do, but still pretty good. Um, that's a solid 90 damage for a body shot, so two pumps and then maybe like a pickaxe should kill somebody um not that you'd switch your pickaxe in the middle of a shotgun battle but you know um it's just something i thought i'd try out the double pump uh i may have reused this switch but sorry about that guys um anything else well, you want to add we got tons of games videos, so. anything else you want to add once season four comes out i want to we can get gameplay on it, yeah. give our thoughts on it, and we're gonna out. be getting season four day one. We'll probably do a stream on Twitch. Uh, just then on that weekend, we'll talk about what we think about season four, like all the stuff in it. So I can't wait to look through it. Hopefully, it's good. I'm actually kind of scared to look at, but excited at the same time. Yeah, I'm definitely excited. A little we're scared. Only, we're only like two days away. I can't think I'm that Monday. So um, it probably comes out like Monday at like 4 a.m. Eastern. So if I can wake up at like 6 a.m. and look at it, and hopefully it's good. So uh, we got a few minutes here. You guys enjoy the rest of the video. Like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below and tell us what your favorite suit out of season three is. Um, leave a like, comment, sub. Peace. If you guys are hyped, comment below season four hashtag hype. And if you guys watch this whole video. Put season four hype in the comments below. If you guys want to see more of these videos, like and subscribe. Um, we love doing these videos because it just gives our thoughts and everything we think about all these Easter eggs. And I can imagine what we're going to talk about at the end of season four and talk about season five. I cannot wait for that. Yeah, so, me neither. Hope you guys enjoy and all that. I'll be to finish it. Anyways, guys, like, comment, sub. Peace.